All right, hey you guys, it's your girl Elicia, AKE, making it look easy. A little off right there, but I'm just gonna leave it how it is. That be okay for seeing. Anyways. Um, I'm doing this video in my car. You guys see by the title that I have received my Hunger Games book. And I'm so excited! Ah, I ain't gonna lie. This week has been crazy because school start back. I mean, classes are now online. So I'm not really an online taker. Whatever, I gotta look at. I keep forgetting I'm using my phone. I'm not really an online school taker. So it's like... I did good in my last semester, like, I don't want to chew my horn, but like, straight A's. <laughs> but anyways, but like, um, it was a struggle and I'm doing it again because like, I'm, I'm, dry, I'm going for a career. I'm just trying to think, think of that word. I'm driven. Okay. Cause I want a certain career. I want to go to medical school. I'm speaking that into existence. I'm manifesting that every single day. So, um. It takes work. It takes hard work. It takes, it just takes a lot. Cause I know at the beginning of my semester, I know that's not what this video about, but at the beginning of my semesters, I did part-time because I thought having a job and getting the car and paying for a car was more important than like getting school stuff done. I feel like I was on point because I was like, oh, you know, I'm taking school part-time. So, you know, I'm getting it done, but it wasn't enough. So now I'm like putting my all into school. So it's like, it's nonstop. It's fall, summer, spring, whatever. If there's an extra summer, I'll take it. Well, not this, not this Corona year. But um, yeah, I'm doing my best that I can and almost done. So God is, God is good. I didn't know physics was gonna be kind of hard like this, but you know, we just thank God anyways. Let me see if this will block the sun or whatever this reflecting line is. Did that do anything? I don't know, it's gonna do something for me. I don't know if it did something, no, it's not. Anyways, so as you guys know, this is an unboxing. Okay, in an unboxing. What's wrong with me and my password? This is an unboxing. I'm not gonna show my address, of course, but I ordered my book from Amazon Prime. And I believe, so I'm using my phone, so I don't know. I believe the book was released May 19th or May 16th, or something like that. And I got my book like a day ago yesterday. So I got it the 19th. Although I got it the 21st. The 21st. I think it was released the 19th and I got it the 21st. I'll, I'll put it down below if I got it wrong. But yeah, so this is an unboxing. I got it from Amazon Prime, of course. So it came real quick. So that's how I know I feel like it was the 19th or the 16th. It came real quick according to the release date. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like when the book came, first of all, Amazon, uh, what's going on? Can y'all just drop the book off? Y'all said y'all hand delivered it, but it was sitting there right on the chair. What's going on? Like we got beef because like, I was real hurt by that because if it was anything else, but this is my Hunger Games book and you sitting here like I ain't paid good money in it. I'm when if someone would have stole the book, be like, oh, this is my favorite book anyways. It ain't money back. I take it. And then I gotta sit here and wait another day. Like, and I really was gonna start reading it, guys, without unboxing it with you guys, because like I was like, man, let me just see what this book up. Ah, ah. But I was like, let me do an unboxing because like I already have like four videos back up. I'm just gonna post. I'm just gonna post like four books. I mean, four four videos at w in one day. I'm sorry, I can't even speak right now because I just saw it. Ambition will fuel him. Competition will drive him. But power has its price. This is nice. How they starting out? They starting out look good right here. They starting out look good. <laughs> If y'all wanna know, it's it's like the catching fire, but but oh my gosh, ooh, this lengthy. 
Okay, you see, <laughs> ain't nothing but a jelly, baby. Whoa! What y'all think? Like, which one should I do? I don't like this shirt, but. That's the one. That's the one. Okay, um, whoa. Okay, I'm, I'm digging the cover and everything. I'm gonna probably wipe it down with a little alcohol. Thing. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's grease. I really don't want to mess it up too much, but. This is it. I hope she made more books for the Hunger Games series. Like, girl, come on. Uh, okay, so it says the ballad, ballad of song. I know I was saying ballad in the last video. I'm like, what's wrong with me? The ballad of Sombers and snakes. A Hunger Games by, a Hunger Games novel by Suzanne Collins. And as you guys know, I read it when I first unboxed it. It just greeted me. Ambition will fuel him. Competition will drive him, but power has its price. Mm. Deep, 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 deep. And I think this is what we already read in Amazon. Let me make sure. Okay, I'm just gonna read it. It is the morning of the reaping that will kick off the 10th annual Hunger Games in the capital. 18 year old Karelianus. I keep saying this wrong. Karelianus. Snow is preparing for his one shot at glory as a mentor in the games. The once mighty House of Snow has fallen on hard times. Is fate hanging on the slender chance that Court, I'm gonna just say Snow, will be able to outcharm, outwit, and outmaneuver his fellow students to mentor the winning tribute? So he's going out his way to make sure his tribute wins. The odds are against him. He's been given the humiliating assignment of mentoring the female tribute from district 12. Mm, so that's why cat has got under his skin anyways the lowest the lowest of the low wow their fates are now completely intertwined every choice snow makes could lead to favor or failure triumph or ruin inside the arena it will be a fight to the death outside the arena corinius starts to feel for his doom tribute and must weigh his needs to follow the rules against his desire to survive no matter what it takes. <laughs> don't act like y'all don't be reading it like that. Some part you gotta sit there and you gotta take your time. Um, let's show you guys how it looks. Right there. Fortner and Janine Jester. 2020, copyright 2020, part one, the mentor. Okay. Oh Y'all better go get y'all book. Okay, I said we only could discuss it. We gonna discuss it together. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna do it after chapter one. Do we have a content to see how long these pages? Let's see the chapter. I don't know if we're going to do every three chapters. Oh, well, two is kind of... Uh, two starts on page 22. And page one starts on... Well, the beginning of the chapter one starts at three. So we probably might do three chapters. We'll just come together and discuss it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to read it one by one because I don't want, like... You know, that's probably gonna be, I don't know, I don't think I can do that legally, just read the book one by one like that. And I heard there was an ex excerpt where she, I heard she basically let, let people see what chapter one was about, like she read it, but I didn't want to ruin that for me because my book was already on the way, so I was just like, 
Oh, I was like, I'll just wait. My brother's about to pass by, y'all. Oh, about the author. Susan Collins is the author of the best-selling best -selling Underland Chronicle series, which started with Gregor the Outlander, her, out, her groundbreaking young adults novels. <laughs> young adults, oh, that's my brother. The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mocking Jay were New York Times best-selling, received wide praise, and were the basis for four popular films. Hold on, hold on. Hey, Year of the Jungle, her picture book based on the year her father was de deployed in Vietnam was published in 2013 to great critical acclaim. I'm sorry, so much is going on right now. To date, her books have been published in 53 languages around the world. I was gonna get it in Spanish because I was like, let me just do a little challenge. Like, you know, I, my mom lives in Venezuela and I have family from Venezuela. So I was just like, let me just like, get into my roots and try to learn how well I can read Spanish more than I can like but I can't understand but I can't understand when people speak too fast but like, you know what I'm saying even with Patua you know I'm Jamaican but at the same time if you blah, 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 it's like hold on come on like slow down what's going on <laughs> take it easy uh, just to add you guys the last page is 517 517 and Hunger Games like they usually, I think it's all five, five something, like 500 pages. Well, actually, Mockingjay, this one is large print, so this one was like 500 pages, so I can't count that one. But this one was actually 314, the first book, and the second book, it's like 390, 391. So this is like the longest book they have, but. Okay, so yeah, that's the best one underline. Okay, so they just have this that part here too, so. Oh my gosh, I have all those books. Suzanne, sponsor me. Anyways, so this is it for the video. Oh, 11 minutes, so that's good. You know, sometimes you just need 10 minutes. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys really interested in us like talking about chapters after chapters i'm gonna probably do three chapters at a time and I'm like hey guys what you guys think about it so it's gonna be in weird places because it's like it's gonna be quick videos i sure i'm sure or if it really gets spicy you know what i'm saying so make sure you like comment and subscribe let me know below and subscribe 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 turn on the notification bell and have a blessed day